What's going on YouTube? So today in this video, we're gonna be talking about some cool news that just came out. So Mazda USA just announced that they have a race car. It's called the Mazda 3 TCR. This race car is gonna be racing early next year and the first race is gonna be a four hour endurance race, which is gonna be pretty cool. Now this new race car is based on the fourth gen Mazda 3 that came out uh, late last year. So this is 2019 model. I know there's some like backlash on what it looks like. The hatchback has the large C pillar and the, the back kind of looks a little strange. The front's pretty cool actually. I've seen a couple on the road recently and they look pretty nice from the front. The back's kind of like, Hit and miss for a lot of people, but I think you're gonna change your mind when you see this car. This new race car was designed in, by Mazda USA um, at their headquarters in Irvine, which is pretty cool. West Coast. And the rest of the car is being built and developed by Longboard Racing. The same people that made the MX-5 Cup race car. This is pretty cool for them. I mean, and it looks really, really good. So kind of wish they made one for the third gen. I don't know. Did they? Did, did I don't even remember. But this is definitely cool for the Mazda community because this means that Mazda Motorsports and everything is coming back through and focusing on some racing. Things that made the Mazda Speed platform pretty cool. And since there is no Mazda Speed platform to base it off of, to like tune it and make it better, they made one and now this platform hopefully will lead back into some Mazda Speeds for the regular average consumer. I think it'd be pretty sweet. I think I might trade my third gen Mazda 3 in. Maybe not. Well, I guess we'll see. So honestly, I think this fourth gen looks much better than the one they put out earlier this year. Um, mainly because the C-pillar, the lines just kind of like fall off flat. And the C-pillar just is like the big focus in the back of the hatchback. Um, the lights, I think, are pretty cool. But some people don't really like it too much. And I think with the wide body on this fourth gen, definitely brings more focus to the actual lines and body of the car. The lines through the C-pillar and through the wide body work really well. And I would say this looks more like the Kodo Kai design that they put out a few years back and really like hammers that in that this is this is the design they wanted, which I think is a good move. This fourth gen also, it sports some Volk racing wheels, um, T37s I believe, and Brembo brakes. Has a pretty cool aero package that's all the way around. And not to mention, there's a single exit exhaust that's straight up in the center. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it's growing on me. I think I really like it. I want a single exit right in the center. Also forgot to mention that it sports a big wing. Now overall for the design, I think it's pretty dope. I'm excited to one day see this in person. That'd be, that'd be super exciting. So now from some specs. This Mazda 3 TCR sports a turbocharged inline four cylinder, front wheel drive, six speed, paddle shift, sequential transmission. Say that five times fast, which pushes about 350 horsepower, which is the regulation for the racing series. It's gonna be pretty quick. I think that as a f potential future Mazda speed owner, maybe a 250 horsepower, even a push to 300 horsepower Mazda speed version would be pretty sweet. I think this is pretty exciting for the Mazda speed platforms in the future, if they're gonna call it Mazda speeds or whatever they're gonna call it in the future. There is no official price for this, but according to Jalopnik, they think that it might be running in the range of 130,000 euros, which is roughly 140,000 US dollars, which is also roughly 187,000 Canadian dollars for your very own race car, which if you have the money, cool, why not? So overall, I really do like this iteration of the Mazda 4th gen. And one, it's a race car. Two, a C pillar doesn't look so bad anymore. And three, 350 ponies. Sure, why not? It's gonna be interesting to see what it's like around the track. Hope for the best for them. Good job, Mazda. You're bringing some interest back into the motorsports scene and you're bringing more interest back into the Mazda because Zoom Zoom is where the Mazda's at. So I want to know what you guys think about this new race car. Would you guys want to drive something like this on the streets? You think this would be pretty cool to have? Hopefully maybe a wide body kit for the future Mazdas from the factory wide body Mazda speeds. I think that'd be sick. I'll link down below the articles that I checked out. They have some extra pictures and stuff and a cool intro video to check out the new race car, which is kind of cool. Also, you can check out Terminal 7, T-R-M-N-L 7 on Instagram and Facebook. Um, he has some cool photos and some videos of the actual race car 
at the unveiling um, at the headquarters, which I think you need to check out because it's pretty sweet. Let me know what you guys think. You guys like it, you guys don't like it. Maybe what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Let me know, but down below. I hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys are as excited as I am because I'm pretty sure there's a new Mazda Speed coming up. I don't know that for sure, but there was definitely some exciting stuff coming in the future after seeing the release of this race car. As always, if you guys like this video, smash that like button and you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.